the elimination race is always an event that stratifies the championship contenders from the rest of the field, and this event in Season 3 of the Individual Couture de Marble League is no different. In the elimination race, 15 rounds of racing, where if you get last, you are out of the event and the replacement is dictated. But if you win a race, you get to skip the next race and you don't have the fear of being eliminated. As you see, all of the marbles in the blocks and ready to go. In this long endurance event, Java, in the last event, got their third gold medal of the season and catapulted to the top of the standings ahead of Rainforest. Tarzan, also with their silver, rose up to third. But now, all 16 marbles in the blocks in race 1 of 15, arranged in championship order, who will be eliminated first? From Java down to Muddy, it is Blue Tail in the lead. We're looking at the models at the back. Muddy in the back. Gloom now back there. And Shamrock's there, but no, Muddy! The 16th place marble in the championship gets passed by Gloom, gets shoved aside by Shamrock. And they continue their tough time, their terrible time. Probably the biggest struggle out of any team or marble in all of the events of the Quadrilla Marble League has been Muddy. And they continue it. That's their first last place of the season. And it's just been awful for them. As we take a look at the second race. Seabed got to win in the first. So they get to skip this race. And race two with 40 marbles in the block. Sandstorm up there. And Sandstorm gets the immunity. Blizzard back. But Blizzard gets by Denim. And Denim will be eliminated second. So Denim. Marble that unlike money was up there. In the championship, they were up there I, almost in a podium place before the previous event. They fell down to sixth. But now, this is going to hurt them. 14th in this race, but because we had them on marble with the immunity, they get 15th in the event. So Seabed, after their immunity, they come back in the blocks in race three. Sandstorm has the immunity now, so they get a step this one with 13 marbles. Now, Java in the league. Rainforest gets by, and Rainforest gets the immunity. And who's that in the back? I think Mystic Orb gets past by Gloom and Mystic Orb is done. Mystic Orb had been trending well of late, so they're disappointed to be eliminated here, 13th in the race, but that's 14th in the event. That was a good duel between Rainforest and Java, the top two in the standings, dueling for the immunity. Now Rainforest got it, they get to skip race four, Sandstorm back with Java Ecto down to Gloom, who will be eliminated fourth. Venom in the lead, can turn up there, now Tarzan, who's that in the back, I think once again Gloom, Void, but Shamrock will be eliminated, and that's the host of season 3, gone. Shamrock, they cut it pretty close in the first few races, they were down there in almost all of them, but they managed to get by last place, but they were not able to this time, and Shamrock is eliminated. Now Rainforest comes back, with Tarzan getting the immunity. As well as Seabed, Candy Corn, Blue Tail, all the way down to Void. Void, the only marble in the back. After this race, everyone will be in one line. Now, Blue Tail in the lead. Sandstorm gets by, and Sandstorm gets the immunity. Now, a lot of black marbles in the back, but it is Gloom gets passed by Venom. And Gloom will be eliminated. The defending champion, despite being the marble that won season two. They're the only marble besides Muddy that hasn't got a podium in this season. And that will continue going to the final two events. Very disappointing. But now Tarzan comes back with Sandstrom getting the immunity. As well as Candy Corn, Seabed, Blue Tail, everyone down to Venom. All in one line now. Now Ecto and Blue Tail. If you narrow down the field, Ecto gets by and they will get the immunity. Oh, Seabed in the back where they get past. They get past Candy Corn. And Candy Corn is eliminated. Candy Corn was the marble that got eliminated first in the elimination race in this event last season. Seabed, meanwhile, was the marble that won the event last season. Those two dueling. Seabed getting the best of Candy Corn. Now, Sandstorm back in the blocks with Ecto sitting this race out. Java, Blue Tail, Rainforest, Venom, Void, Blizzard, Tarzan, and Seabed. Now Rainforest and Java dueling once again at the top, but Java gets the immunity now. And Tarzan in the back, but they get past, but they, they, they get past Void that is in the end. And Void is eliminated. Void had been also another marble, trending well of late. They've just got 
two fourth places in a row. But now, they will not make the top half, slotting in tenth in the event. Now, race eight, as we reach almost the midway point. Ecto, Rainforest, Blue Tail, Seabed, Venom, Blizzard, Sandstorm, and Tarzan. And this is Rainforest in the lead. Blizzard up there, Seabed too, but I think Rainforest will get the immunity. And Blizzard is the marble that gets eliminated. Blizzard is up there, but look at this, getting shoved by Venom, Blue, Blue Tail, Ecto, and Sandstorm just for the final nail in the coffin. And Blizzard slots out of the event in the last round before we go to the top half. So Java gets back in the blocks with Rainforest in Immunity, Venom, Seabed, Tarzan, Blue Tail, Ecto, and Sandstorm. And with just seven marbles in this race, along with the mar one marble that has Immunity, we have reached the top half. Ecto in the lead, Sandstorm's up there too, it's Tarzan in the back. Can Tarzan get by? It's very close. It was almost a three marble race for to avoid elimination because look at this, Blue Tail and Java up there. But then Tarzan, a lunge forward, but they just can't get by Java, and Tarzan is eliminated. They will get 8th this event, Tarzan. Won this event all the way back in Season 1. Now, in race 10 of 15, 6 marbles, Rainforest, Sandstorm, Venom, Seabed, Blue Tail, and Java, with Ecto having the immunity. It is Java, but Rainforest gets by them, and Rainforest gets the immunity. J Seabed in the back, but Seabed! Gets by Java at the final moment. And the championship leader is eliminated. Look at how this transpired. Sandstorm pushing Java back. Then Seabed. They were so far back. But they just went past Java at the most pivotal moment. And the championship leader is out. And to add insult to injury. Their main rival Rainforest in the championship. Has gotten the immunity. What a story there as we go to Ecto, Blue Tail, Sandstorm, Venom. And Seabed, which is five marbles. This Ecto and Seabed in the top two positions with Ecto with a bump. They will get the immunity. Now, Sandstorm goes no further. This far back, but they could not make a lunge like we've seen before. And Sandstorm will not get past sixth place in the event. So now, Ecto gets the immunity. Rainforest will come back. So, Ecto, Rainforest, Seabed, Blue Tail, and Venom are... The top five of the event, Ecto guaranteed a top four finish. See the marbles spread apart to make sure it's as fair as possible like we saw in the opposite race. These four marbles, Seabed has the lead now to Venom. Will Venom take it? It looks like they will and Blue Tail in the end will not get by. Blue Tail, one of the contenders for the championship up there, will be disappointed to be eliminated. They were so close to the medals. Also. Blue Tail got 4th place in the event last season, the elimination race, they get 5th place this season, it's very similar across the two seasons. Now, Venom, guaranteed a podium, Ecto, Seabed and Rainforest in race 13, the last one, the last race to determine who doesn't podium, the loser of this will not make the podium, Rainforest in the lead, now it's Ecto, Ecto has a huge lead, who will be eliminated, it will be Rainforest that gets eliminated. And Rainforest, they were very close with them and Seabed. But Seabed just gets by very close between those two. And that means Rainforest, this is critical. Rainforest doesn't make the podium. And with Java eliminated, Rainforest is just missing out on a huge haul of points. Now, Ecto is going straight to the final with that win. So Venom and Seabed, the winner of this, faces Ecto. Loser will get the bronze. Seabed has been in a situation like this before, winning the elimination race last time. But they're very close with Venom. They just get by them. Look at how close these two numbers were. Seabed just slightly ahead. But Venom is not far off at all. And it just came with that final nudge that puts Seabed ahead. And Venom will get the bronze. Venom has been struggling as of late, so it's good to see them back up there. But now, for the final, Ecto and Seabed, two of the titans of the individual quarter of the marble league in the final race who will win the elimination race our season one champion or the season two runner-up and the winner of this event last season they're very close trading the lead ecto gets by and ecto beats the winner of this event last season ecto the season one champion back on top look at that move 
It looked like Siebert had the slight edge, but then Ecto saw the opening. They took it, and a swift pass by gives them the win and the first gold medal for Ecto since Season 2 Quadrilla Race. With five race victories, Ecto will stand on, t- on the top step of the podium once again. Seabed, though, will get second. And that was going to put them well up in the championship. And Venom, a nice return to form in the bronze. But Ecto, what a job. Rec- greatness must be recognized up there. With them on the top step of the podium, they are also perhaps going to join back the championship hunt. What does it look like, though? After event 10, with just two events to go, Java still in the lead, Rainforest still in second, Seabed in third, Blue Tail in fourth, Tarzan and Ecto have also broken the 100 point mark. But now, looking at the bottom, Sandstorm cannot win, the other three also can't win and cannot even make the podium. Mm-hmm.